How do you neutralize the effect of toxic coworkers? Now I'm speaking specifically about those coworkers who are seeking the recognition for the team's work. They want to be the center of attention, the spotlight. And if anyone takes the spotlight off of them, they get angry. They become adversarial and they will do anything to undermine your efforts. How do you contrast yourself from them when you are trying to reveal their true purpose? Because in the process, they're doing everything to make your life miserable because they don't want you to receive any credit for the work that you have done. They want to be the center of attention. How do you neutralize them and how do you contrast yourself from them? You have to contrast yourself by being humble. Most people don't look at humility as a power, but humility is power under control. What power is it controlling? It's your emotional desire to retaliate, to speak negatively, to speak harshly. And even if you are valid in your critique of this person, what you do not want to do is succumb to their low level of tactics by being negative and adversarial. This is why humility is a strength because people who are attacked in the work environment, who are dealing with toxic coworkers. And in this case, I'm speaking specifically of someone who is trying to take credit for work that they did not do. And when someone takes a spotlight off of them, they become adversarial. They seek ways to undermine their work. They try to draw uh, negative conclusions about that person. And they will even articulate negative things about their coworkers if they feel threatened by not receiving the attention that's really not theirs. You have to be humble. Humble people are selfless. They seek to help others. They seek to elevate the successes of others. Why? Because they know that it will create reciprocity. Why? Because they are secure people. They recognize that no one succeeds without the help of others. So they don't seek all the credit for themselves. They don't seek recognition. They don't seek the spotlight, the center of attention. And when they are not getting the recognition, they do not get upset. They control themselves. That's why humility is power under control. Now I'm telling you this because a lot of times we become part of the problem when that toxic coworker starts to spread negative news and then we will retaliate and we will say things back and then we create this atmosphere of negativity. You have to be humble. So how do you respond? First of all, don't clap back. <laughs> when unprofessional coworkers try to bait you into getting roused during the meeting. Yeah, when they speak negatively of you or they, they know your hot buttons, they study you. Some of them are good students of human behavior. They know what things to say to get you worked up emotionally. Don't clap back. It will confuse the innocent, those who are trying to understand the situation. Because the truth is, sometimes that narcissistic, self-centered coworker appear to be the good person, but they know that they really have an ulterior motive and they don't want you to win in this situation. And they know that you are calling them out. You're focusing on the, the, their craftiness and their deceitfulness. And the moment you try to dethrone them, they will push that button to get you to clap back, but do not get roused in a meeting. Even if it's in front of a client or your team or the boss, don't get roused. Number two, don't get even. <laughs> when they have wronged you, hurt people, hurt people. The best thing you should do is forgive them and release yourself from the pain and move on. You do not want to stoop to their low level tactics. Forgiveness is a power. Number three, don't get angry when they take the credit for the team's work. Listen, Humble people know the work that they have done. They know that they have contributed to the team's success. And so you don't have to focus on what this person is doing. Don't get angry. Don't even invest your emotional energy in that kind of stuff. You focus on the wins that you had with your team. Number four, be ice cold calm. 
This is why I believe humble people are strong. Because they know how to control their emotions. Humility is power under control. And at the end of the day, if you can't change your situation, you can't do anything. No one believes you. You've stated your case. You've done everything. The best way to give yourself peace of mind is to be humble. Listen up, Stephen Garner. Thank you for watching today. Take your cues from me and live a great life. You know what to do if you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications of the next video. Until then, next cue.